What is up, y'all? We are back. It is 8.20 on Thursday, and we're heading out to Naples for an in-person group coaching meeting. We're going to get everybody together from our Wednesday group coaching with John Huffman and Bryce Lawrence. We're all going to meet at one place for the day and just go over everything that we've been talking about the last few weeks, kind of get everybody together for a little bit of networking and get everyone back on the same page and and moving forward. So that's cool. But I wanted to jump on here this morning and do my Thursday thoughts. I don't know how long any of you have been watching this channel, but my original videos, I mean, this had to be four or five years ago, was Thursday thoughts. And it was just me talking about whatever was on my mind. So that's what I want to talk about today. Just do a little throwback to Thursday thoughts. And here we go. We are back, baby. And so you guys know I I love personal growth and development. I'm really into psychology. And over the last really two years, I've been focusing really, really hard on my personal growth and development and making sure... Um, At this time, the last two years, as I was rebuilding my body from a few surgeries, that I also rebuilt my mind and my way of thinking and kind of redirected some of my thought patterns. Um, A couple things that have helped me do that. Number one is the Word of God. Getting closer to the Lord, spending time in the morning with Him has been an absolute game changer. Um, that's the number one thing I recommend if you can do nothing else. So that above all. But I've also had really good success practicing some of the practices in the book, The Power of Positive Thinking. That was an amazing asset in my tool belt as I worked on personal growth and development. Right now, I, I also sifted through Tools of Titans. If you've ever seen that book, it's like... Prop- thicker than this but it's really cool because it's like bite size information from people you know and respect from from high high performing executives to um, elite athletes it talks a lot about their routines their habits some of their go-to's so I've, I've kind of sifted through that um, I have not read every page of it but I'm gonna go back to that book when I finish the book that I'm working on now which is The Daily Stoic. So that book takes you one year to read because every day of the year, it has kind of like a daily devotional um, from our the ancient Stoics in Greece talking about some of the principles and practices that they put into play. And I really love learning about Stoicism. I think it's, um, it's, it's an amazing thing that if you can practice can really help your your experience here on earth be better. So what I like to do is sit down in the morning after my workout and read my daily stoic devotional and then follow that right up with the word. Because for of course nothing comes above the word. Everything you need for helping yourself through life is in the Bible, but I love being able to take those stoic principles and then start reading the Bible and see where they're applied in the Bible as well. You'd be surprised how closely those two correlate. So those are some things I've been been working hard on. Another thing is getting uh, my diet in order. Make sure throughout the day that I am eating enough, that I am drinking enough water, that I get in my protein for the day, and um, and different supplements. I'm really loving um, collagen. You guys know I take the BPC-157. I recommend that to almost anybody. Also, um, I've been in a season lately. You guys know about the TSW and how you know traumatic and, and very disruptive that was. And you guys also know about the prior years of the surgeries that I've had to had to have to kind of rebuild my body and the challenges that that brought upon me. And I've sat back and and I've looked at the last five years of my life and the challenges in my life and the pressure and kind of feelings of being crushed (coughs) that I feel right now in this season of life. And I was talking with the group coaching yesterday, bringing up some, some some of these things that I've been feeling 
And I have to always remember and keep it in the front of my mind that when you're going through these seasons where you feel like you're being crushed, you're not being crushed, you're being formed. God is forming you. He's building your character. He's providing you with the experiences that you need in order to gain the mental fortitude, the toughness, the character that he needs you to have for the next season in your life. So if you feel like I've felt lately and you feel like you're being crushed or you know you feel like you're doing all the things you need to be doing in this season but you're not quite yet seeing the results, stay the course. Don't get discouraged. Don't think, you know, I've been doing this for X amount of time and I'm not seeing results, so I'm just going to stop doing these things. That is where most people fail. They get a good morning routine. They get in a groove. They get a little momentum, but they're not quite seeing the results that they want, similar to being in the gym, and they quit. And that's, that's a major hurdle that you have to get over if you're going to be an entrepreneur, if you're going to push forward for personal growth and development. There's going to be times of difficulty and times where you believe it, but you just don't see it around you. But I challenge you to stay the course because what's going to be the difference between you and all the other stories you hear about people who have tried similar things that you've tried and quit is going to be that period of time where you feel you're getting crushed and you're not seeing the results that you want to see. Keep pushing forward Keep adapting and do not ever give up. Those are things that have just been on my heart lately that I wanted to get out to you guys and do Thursday's thoughts. It's pretty cool when I stop and think about when I started this channel four or five years ago to where it is today. And if I stay consistent, I stay the course where this will be four years from now. So I have a tremendous amount of respect for every person that has subscribed to my channel because I know if you've subscribed to my channel, it's organic and you're on a similar path that I'm on. So I have tremendous respect and love for you guys and girls. So keep fighting the good fight, whether it's OCD, whether it's anxiety, whether you're pushing through as an entrepreneur, whether you're starting to get into personal growth and development. Stay the course because those dreams that God placed in your heart are meant to come into fruition, but it's gonna be through your work. So like always, like this video so other people can find it. Leave me a comment of some things that you did in that season of building that helped you stay the course. And like always, hit that subscribe button. We are above a thousand subscribers and I need you guys to comment what you think we should do when we get to that next level. Maybe it's when we gain another 500 subscribers, maybe when it's when we get to 2,000 subscribers, let's do something big in our community that's going to help people and make those people that are in our community doing good feel appreciated. But we're not gonna set anything in stone until I get some comments from you guys. So leave some comments down there about what you think we should do and what the next milestone should be for our subscriber count. Love you guys, have a great day, later.